Now then, so uh, I'm out again, second 10 mile run in three days. And, uh, and I've got to say, I'm just really enjoying it. Like, I mean, Achilles still aching. I don't know if that's going to pass for a long time. Knee, my left knee is fantastic. To think that I thought, <laughs> I thought I might never run again because of arthritis or tendon damage or cartilage damage or whatever. There was all sorts of stuff going on in my head. Stories that I just created and you know because I was in a because I was overwhelmed by it right? because I was frustrated with it and I wonder how many other runners are, are doing that but one of the interesting things today I'm doing the same route today that I did the other day just running along the River Severn here I love this little run I love seeing all the birds there's about a million Canada geese up there I'm gonna run past them in a minute they don't fuck about they will they will take you down if you give them a chance um, <clears throat> but what strikes me is this is how much the water has dropped in just two days. It was at least, well, you could probably see it on the other bank there. It's halfway up what we can see the bank there. There's the definite line where the water was and it's dropped so much in just a day. And that's incredible. And I think that's my metaphor for today is the fact that our, our motivation, our inspiration, our love of running, our drive towards our goals, has, it's got to go up and down you can't have a, a great day where you're super motivated and you just want to run forever without having a shit day where you barely want to run at all and it's good to remember that you know when you do get them shit days um it's just a case of going right okay for just for today or just for an hour or just for a, a couple of hours or whatever i'm just going to sit with it you know and just let it work itself out but knowing that what's coming around the corner is another day of super motivation um, and then not letting yourself go in more than the time you allot it so if you feel shit and you still feel shit on the second day right well it's time to get out and do something even if it's a walk you know even if it's a bit of a light stretch get in the gym whatever it is but just do something because it's that consistency that is really key for everything okay so i'm gonna crack on i know this is a short video for today um, but I'm really enjoying it, and uh, sometimes there's the little feckers. Look, can you see them? They've moved off. They obviously know there's a lesser spot of Craig Williams coming through, and that's why they've shifted. So I'm gonna crack on, and I might talk to you a bit later on. But uh, yeah, have a great day. See you in a bit. This bridge is my four four mile mark. It's actually just a little bit further than four miles from my house, but it's just a really good reference point. Uh, so this is four miles in, doing all right. Uh, so what's happened this week? Well, not a lot of progress 2020 wise, but let me just walk. Um, I've been on a podcast, it's been an incredible podcast. You know what? I feel really honored. I mean, this podcast has had guests, it's quite new. We've taken some incredible guests on there, like <clears throat> John Kelly, guy who's just won the spine race, you know. He's the 15th finisher of the Berkeley Marathon, or marathons. If you've never, if you've never seen that, if you don't know what that is, go onto Netflix, type in the Berkeley Marathons, Berkeley Marathons, whatever it is. How do we pronounce it? I don't freaking know. <coughs> Watch it. It is mental, mental. Uh, and he was on there, you know, the winner. Just so many, so many amazing guests. And then little old, little old fat Craig who doesn't even class himself as a runner on there talking about some of my stories the amazon the sahara and, and uh, the ice and also the 2020 challenge trying to get some runners to come along with me so have a listen to it i'll put the link it's getting slippy now in the link in the uh <coughs> in the description i am blatantly gonna fall on my ass here um so check it out have a listen when you're either out running or in the gym or driving in the car or whatever um and really then all I need to do is just give a little bit of a call out really to anybody that wants to join me. Get yourself over to the 2020marathonchallenge.com website. Have a look at the dates where I need runners. I've got to have runners, otherwise the record just will not stand. And then get yourself signed up. Like, uh, Drop us a message if you want to come and join me for a couple of days or whatever. I'll host you, I'll put you up. Accommodation, food, all that shite. Okay, um, I just need runners. That's it. Right, I'm going to crack on. Have a great week. And uh, don't be a voyeur, you dirty bastards. Bloody message, comment, tell them what you're doing. <clears throat>
I'll do it now.